Okay, welcome back. We're going to do an example right here of uh, velocity and acceleration vectors. And uh, using all the units of velocity and change in velocity and acceleration. But uh, we're going to use the same old principles that we used when um, adding vectors together in the for first part of chapter 4. Here we have a car traveling at 25 meters per second, and I'll draw this in just a minute. Uh, 25 meters per second at a direction 20, uh, 25 degrees east of south. Now this right here, we're going to need to change a little bit, right? Because 25 degrees east of south, we don't like that. It should be south of east, right? So south of east, 25 degrees east of south, what, what would that be south of east? It would be 65 degrees. Okay, we want to base our angles off of the horizontal so our sine functions all stay the same. So that's one bit of processing we need to, need to do right off the bat. Uh, and so its driver hits the brakes and it comes to a stop, so you should know what that means, 0 0.34 seconds later. Okay, so we're going to be asked to find the change in velocity, that is the delta V, um, in unit vector notation and magnitude direction notation. Now you should know how to do that because we've, we've done that already, but I'll walk you through it. And then we need to find this, the car's acceleration. Okay, acceleration being change in velocity over change in time. Sorry, that's so small. Okay, also in unit vector notation and magnitude direction notation. And then we want to find the velocity uh, after a certain amount of time after the driver hits the brakes. Okay, that's the plan. So let's go back to our original uh, statement up here. The car that's traveling at 25 meters per second at what we said was 65 degrees south of east. All right, well, that's going to look something probably kind of like this. Okay, here's our car. And um, it doesn't say anything about turning or anything, so it's just coming to a stop in a straight line. So the initial velocity, V initial, is 25 meters per second at 65 degrees south of east. And the final velocity, in fact, I'll write that over here, V final equals zero meters per second at, it really doesn't have a direction, but um, at um, 65 degrees south of east, we could say that because it really is zero, it's really zero in any direction. Um, but just so we can, we have these kind of in the same um, in the same form here. Why do we care about this? Well, because we want to find the change in velocity, right? And in fact, you know what, I'm going to change this and uh, I'm going to write that in black because I want that to stand out later on. So delta V is what we want to find, this change in velocity right here. Well, we know that delta V, or our change in velocity, equals V final minus V initial. So let's just take these two vectors and simply add them up, add them together. Now you're probably thinking right now, oh, that's easy. Okay, 0 minus 25, that's negative 25. Yes, but it's not quite that easy in um, when adding vectors because we have a direction as well. Now you're probably thinking, well, yeah, but they're, it's in the same direction. This is true, but we're going to simply do the long route, add them together uh, using the chart method so that you can actually see that this works. And then we, you can add vectors together in any direction, even if this car was maybe, say, turning, uh, turning and slowing down. So we're going to add these vectors together using the chart. Uh, I'm going to make this in red. Sorry. Vector, magnitude, direction, x hat, y hat. Okay. So we're going to add, or actually we're not going to add, we're going to subtract, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, V initial from V final, right? V final minus V initial will give us, I'll write delta V in black, our change in velocity in black. Okay, so our final velocity, the magnitude is zero. The angle is really whatever you want to make it, but we'll just say 65 just for just for kicks, it's zero in any direction. It's zero in the x direction, it's zero in the y direction, okay? Uh, then how about our v initial? Well, the magnitude is 25, 25 meters per second, that's this right up here. 
the angle is 65 degrees south of east, right? And to find our x, well, we need to take 25 times a cosine of 65. 25 cosine 65, that gives us 10.6 meters per second. And to find the y, we take 25 times the sine of 65. So that is 22.7. In fact, let me back up there a little bit. 22.7, but you'll notice that it's in the y is in the negative direction. So we need to put a negative in front of it. Okay, the initial velocity has a positive x, but a negative y. So that's why we have to make the y negative. All right, well, let's add them up, or actually subtract them up, right? Because we're subtracting v initial from v final. So for delta v, our change in velocity, 0 minus negative 22.7 is 22.7. 0 minus 10.6 is negative 10.6. So that means that we have a negative x and a positive y. That means our change in velocity is going to be in the opposite direction as the car was originally going. All right, let's find the, um, oh, by the way, we can write this down right now. What do these two values represent, the x hat and the y hat? Well, those are the unit vector values for the change in velocity. So for a, delta of v or change in velocity, this vector could be written as negative 10.6 meters per second x hat and 22.7 meters per second y hat. That's the first part of our answer in, uh, for part a in unit vector notation. Well, just as easily we can find the, the magnitude direction magnitude, I'm sorry, and direction of our change in velocity, we simply just do the Pythagorean. So square root of 10.6 squared plus 22.7 squared gives us 25. Okay, 25 what? 25 meters per second. Hey, let's uh, find the direction of this delta V right here. Well, the direction is inverse tangent of 22.7 .2 divided by 10.6 and that gives us sure enough you could have predicted this probably 65 degrees but again what direction well again it this change in velocity vector has a negative x and a positive y so negative x positive y that looks like that that's going to be north of west. Okay? So this um so this right here this change in velocity vector is working in the opposite direction of the the, the direction that the car is actually going. You might say the change in velocity is in favor of the north of west direction. Our delta v could be written also as change in velocity equals 25 meters per second at 65 degrees north of west. Okay, so here's our two answers for part A. By the way, I'll draw this little arrow here for our unit vector notation. Okay, A and A. Okay, that's great. Part B.